Hello, mates, and welcome to this spy analysis. Name's Bob. Um, I'm decided to make this spy analysis video just because, yes, spy POVs or whatever POVs you see, yes, they might teach you something. But I guess that having an analysis in it is actually more insightful. Like having a re like a really good um, uh, like overview of what I was thinking while I was doing that. I think that's more, if you want, I guess it's more entertaining if you're watching the video and to uh, actually learn something. So for this series, I will not actually like choose my best POVs or whatever, because I guess that those are good for uh, frag movies and well, I'm going to show my skill, but actually for this series, I will choose POVs that try and uh, make you see how to adapt in a situation and what to try and what to try and to not try actually. So for this match um, we are scrimming against a gold team if I'm not mistaken and we have two minutes. I want to try on a different loadout that I, want, that I usually use. I was running uh, Latranja and Spicicle and Cloak and Dagger but I see that changing really quickly. So just enjoy the POV and hope you learned something. So. As I, say, uh, as I said, we are rocking Broken Dagger, Spicicle and Latranjo, and we're playing on the map Snake Border. So always check the medigun, uh, they're running medigun, especially in CP maps and off maps, because that's uh, in, like, the time that medigun changes the most, because they can choose uh, from Quick Fix, Quick Squeak and medigun. So this is my first entering, I'm trying to get a... If you're on the med, I bumped into the spy just to make them see the spy was there and this guy's an injury. This mini is actually doing a really bad nurse in my team, so I'm pointing that out. Okay, it out. To the side, I got a really good position here, so I went to take him out. Off he goes. Good. Now, this MG saw me, so I have to choose the hiding spot. So, here, this is a, actually a pretty good hiding spot where I can just stand. And then I move on. I want to uh, pick the health just because so that I don't get one hit by Sam. NG sees me so I have to juke him but I fail really badly, he gets me. Um, well, let's wait for the respawn. They got mid and we're backing off. This is possibly just going, yes, they're possibly rolling us through, uh, through our last. See here I'm changing loadout, this is possibly the change to the Edbringer, yes. So I'm now running Revolver, Spicicle, and Dead Ringer. So because I want more mobility and more survivability for us. Possibly running uh, Ambi. And in retrospect, I really want to run Ambi because I have more killing power than the Revolver. Anyways. Yeah, I know I'm stuck, so I'm forced to make a pick. And between Soldier and Sniper, I prefer to uh, Sniper because he has a really, really good sideline. But still... Uh, so here my team is fighting, uh, I guess we lose this, I don't remember. Let's see how it goes, uh, Lebla on heavy. Pretty long respawn time anyway, 18 seconds. So we repel the push, and we're going on the last. So we're running same loadout. Um, I was watching last a bit because we don't know how um, like spies might take out our soldier and just camp it. When our pyro comes up, I'm sure they can hunt, handle this and just move on. The yeah, disguise is a friendly NG because when you're running um, a dead ringer, having a friendly fane is really good because it might uh, actually fool your opponent. Here yeah, I really miss an easy stab. Not really in my, like I'm just in my like three game rust main play, but let's just move on. So yeah, I managed to juke the people and get out of sight. Yeah, I prefer to get the ammo and help because I was out of sight. But I really foolishly just get into their territory without a knife and the bringer charge. So I was pretty much hot headed there. I should have laid back a little bit. Lack of the distraction should have been like on something else and then go in. Especially waiting for a dead bringer charge because that 60 health and no dead bringer charge would basically be dead. So they got caught now. I kind of feel ashamed because I could have made, made an opening, like an, uh, an entrance there, but I didn't. Uh, Chicken Red Gun, they're running crit screen now. 
Although I always have 3D models, but in my 3D models are kind of bad. I, sometimes you can't really distinguish them, but you see the like yellow thing. That's pretty big. Always have that. They're still disguised as a friendly NG. Um, so this was a weak thing, but this uh, power checks and gets my knife. So just back off. There's no need to go in there. I don't have a knife and no dead ringer charge. You see this eye has that ring to help the pyro get in there anyway. Um, sorry if the, some parts of this video are laggy, but I was pinging quite a lot in some parts of the of the stream, so I guess that's the problem too. Uh -huh. So okay, that wasn't a really good thing, in my opinion, but I guess they bought it, so I'm just walking in. Time has been added. So. I have my gun out, which is a good thing to have, because if something gets on your face, you just have to shoot it really quickly. Don't have your knife out unless you're not going for a stab. Right now, I'm waiting. Kind of acting, but... When you're feigning, just, don't just feign in the first hit that comes to you. If you feign, like if you take 5 damage and feign, that's going to be really obvious. But I took a lot of damage before feigning. That's risky, but... Possibly they thought I was dead, even though the fire was checking. Well, they always do. Now I'm disguised as a man so I guess the shotgun out, but... Okay, now I'm having a shotgun out. Uh, I don't want to set the mini because that's gonna let them up So I'm staying here, trying in case I can get a med. I see that he walks away, so I just get up my dead ring and walk away. I can't make that run, and I can use my gun because he's full health. See the engineer, I keep up a bit away. I want him down, but no, I don't see it. I don't get the stab, so I just suck the mini, which is the best thing I can do. And dead ringer. Not really doing much, though. They told me. Um, so here, I'm waiting, not making the same mistake twice. I'm waiting for my dead ringer and knife to charge. So, I'm waiting, not making the same mistake twice. I'm waiting for my dead ringer and knife to charge. So, I'm kind of acting a bit, trying to. Okay, so heavy, heavy finds me. For some reason, I don't get up my dead ringer and die instantly. Not really going well. So we're, we're still at last. We won't play out well, I guess, like in the first two or three rounds. But anyway. Die box can. Hello. Okay, it's me. So. Yeah, still. I'm um, having a spy disguise because I want to get into behind. No, I have a disguise now. I see I'm behind them, so I just train this guy to a regular one. I see they're pushing in. I don't mind the sentry. Just abuse pushes. This was the best moment. When they're pushing and they don't have a pirate, they're fucking exposed as. They don't check as great. They are. That the, yes, that the, I agree. Uh, <laughs> so, they don't check behind them as much as when they're just holding and spy check. During a push is the best moment to go ahead and actually go for a juicy pick. I'm trying to get some that gun damage on that side and just to mess up the rain. Yes, I'm pretty bad. Um, yes, dang. Can I get him? Yes, fine. That took a lot. Anyway, let's move on. We have... Okay, so the Pyro was really distracted, so even though he's not really priority pick right now, still better than nothing. Uh huh, so I'm, I'm on mid, there's nobody on mid, so I can just not have my dead ringer up, see what's going on. Usually combo stays here, so they really check the soul room, but I see the meds down and everything, so I'm just going for the soul to try to get for the scout, but no, I don't get him, he's low. I don't mind him because I don't really have the health to, to fight him. Uh, you see the sniper, uh, I guess my acting like pulls him, he goes just to aim. Hi, Hi. So, acting is pretty good with that ring. I turned around instantly and just um, made him think I was going for actually for the enemy, which was my team, and he bought him. That's the main thing of this guy's enemy. So, I see the power spy checking and he gets me, so I'm just running away. Now I'm real, I realize I'm kind of screwed, so I just back off my team and it's okay. That's the benefit of having spies to go in that ring, because you, all, you have a lot of survivability if you stay with them. Here I try and get some gun damage off the scout, I know that he's low, but I'm gonna risk it. 
No, I'm trying for a really aggressive deep poke, even though I don't think it's worth it. Heavy get heavy gets taken out, so my thing was in vain anyway. Aggressive deep cloaks are okay, but not really when you're using a dead ring yet. You really gotta make that worth it because you're going to die after all. Like after the the deep cloak, because you have no cloak to back you up. Unless there's natural nearby, but that's a rare occasion. So we're just pushing into last, and I'm just getting into last body blocking because that ring is actually pretty good at tapping and blocking fight. So soul jumping, it's taken out. I see the mini, I just want to sap it out and perfect the energy, but it's a really good position here. I want to make it go down. It goes down, and the end, I'm just staying here. I gotta scout this guy, so it's not pretty good, but I'm behind them. But now I get the spy and possibly walk in a little more. I see the angel sees me, so I just can not bother with him. Go this this way. The stairs don't get checked that much, so I just stay here, see if the angel sees me or not. I see he does, but I guess he better he, he bought it. I was a sniper here, which is a pretty nice location for it, but he, he sees me, so I just back up. And then he Still keep the same these guys, possibly change it, yes. Always change these guys when they see you taking med gun, just med gun. They always do it before a push or something, because you don't, you don't want surprise tricks is going to you. Yeah, I did a really stop thing, jumping for the med. Not really dumb now, so uh, I just went for the med. Uh, there's a med, I possibly kill him, I don't really have a good situation to do that. But that's the case, I'm just laying around here, not really doing much, just looking. Because when you have a dead ring, you really need to be realistic about what you can do because many times you don't have an Indus watch to back you off, up. So here, again, same mistake. I was just running in without a charge and multiple people looking for it, but that was not good. So if you have a dead ring, you must uh, um, use the map mostly to get behind people because you don't have a cloak, you don't have real invisibility. And you don't have that mobility that the endless watch gives you. You have to be more using using your map to hide advantage that kind of stuff to give you stabs or just the stab. Call up the soldier was trying to body block him to make his rocket explode on himself, but it didn't work. Anyway, he gets taken out. I just stand here because I'm waiting for the charge. I see that they're really distracted, so I try and go for it. I see the med and no. no. Oh, I don't him. I was trying to be risky because they're, they're about to push in and I really want to get take that net down even though I could have tried and stay, stay alive and go for that but helped anyway but So we lose again He's not really going well for us right now I guess I stay with this setup of the match because I want to take it out For still not done, oh he's shut down Okay, this guy's a spy, just because I'm lazy, I guess I'll check it out, check this guy's lazy. Okay, I'm um, this guy's a friend of the NG again, uh, you should probably be a disguise more than I did right now. I guess I changed my disguise to Pyro though. Okay, so you see the NG is taking a lot of damage, so I'll just back off, the Pyro would, yeah, the Pyro knows, possibly I'm a spy, so I'll just back off. Pyro gets taken out, so I'm good. Just take a rocket, which that was a good thing. I took a rod with the rocket and nothing else. Yeah, take the ammo and rotate all the way back. I wanna take the ammo because yes. And I have a charge now, I can move in pretty safely. In this case there's a sniper, so just looking there if there's anybody I'm working through. Pretty well, I see the demo man. Okay, he gets taken out. Get damage on that med. Pretty easy. See that soldier, just yeah, walk at him with the dead ring. He takes a lot of damage and gets taken out. That's how you should use the dead ring. Soldier here. Get surprised by the spy. Didn't actually think it was going there, but hey, you die sometimes. So here we are at second. Uh, meds with pistols. I guess we have a bandage, so we're getting pretty aggressive here. And um, yeah.
Can you some? Yeah, I like to flip my a lot. Cool. Possibly for walking into the last, the best thing would, would be or an, either a Nimbus and a Latrange or a Cloak. Because you don't have really that much space or time for that to truly do something. In fact, I'm kind of stuck here. Really, but and he sees me, so yeah. But I. Yes. I was lagging so much. I know that happened, but yes. I was really lagging out a lot. Like all the scout always, uh, see the scout always scouts are yes, they, even though they run slower as other guys. Well, you shouldn't run in on people like that. If you, like, these guys aren't meant to be an actual, like, they're going to look at me and not distinguish me from fully being a spy or not. But when you're not seen, they don't attract a distracted eye. But if you're not distracted, you're, they'll just find you. Okay. Still dead ring, eh? I guess I won't try it really heavily. I was really committed to that ring. This guy is an NG. Possibly trying to get opening on them. No, checking head gun. I guess I was lagging a lot here, so I was just, just, just waiting for it. See that they're pushing in. I just. I just think. Go uncloak and. Don't, don't get the lead. I just. Get away in time and get charged. I wouldn't really get that ammo pack, that health pack, because at 7 health that rocket could have killed me because I took 8 damage. So that was good. Yeah, you see the combos alone, but since I'm, I'm low and I didn't really check behind me, NG finds me and I'm kind of screwed. So yeah. Still holding me. Why this guy's behind your teammate? It's kind of neat. Sometimes. If you don't have to defend, if you have to defend, this will work. But here, I don't know why. I shank. Yeah. I don't know now. I was going for a faint. I don't. And you just guys clarifies me from the back now. And you don't have a knife in the silver revolver. I just prefer to back off and less. Oh, I, I possibly should have stayed in position there, but I I had the. the the feeling that I was going to be really just destroyed by Skyrim and that. But I, that was a really bad detail. I found myself, like, as a time as, uh, as I lowered the dead ring in that precise moment, people shot me, so I lost the cloak right there and was just trying to cap this quickly. But my time on the point actually helped our scout to cap, so that was good. I was happy about it. Yeah, yes, I was writing something. Shout about be me being laggy. But hey. Go! Running into mid with spikes, guys, this time. Possibly I'll try and not go for a thing yet. Yes, they find me. But this time, yes, I got found and I basically destroyed. The Dringer isn't really good for this kind of um, entrance on the combo because you can't just go um, on them as... Yes, I was trying to do that, but many times as I did before, just go on the flank and the slope is actually a better place to be close than actually behind them because the Dringer is really loud. You all know it. Dream spawn. Been added. Uh, checking stuff. I'm this guy's such a pyro because I'm with the with the med. So if any spies want to wander in or whatever, it, it's actually better to have a pyro this guy sometimes. Then fool your enemies and sometimes spread. So you here, really bad deep load. Uh, but I guess they don't see me or they bought it because it was pyro this guy. Right. The control so I'm just being really quickly. Um, and he sees me but I'm trying to jump. I was trying to go for a fake, that was a fake jump stab because making them think I was trying to go for a trick stab might actually make them think I was dead. Now, Scout sees me, I don't know, I just 
to go for the fake Trisk tab again buys me enough time to actually get the poke back and second thing. I'm going for the side, I should have waited and get and got broken, broke back in here. I die to the engine. Same mistake here. I have to get um I have to get broke back. Wait. Sorry for my interruption, mom came in and was like, oh, go, go. Okay, let's start that. So we lost the right in the round again. So, yes, from now on, actually go and walk better. They are running Pitbox now, and I possibly change my game style and things will actually go well, uh, a bit better. Thank you, Doctor. This match actually wasn't, as you seen, I was really playing well, but many times just a, just a little good play, like that chain stab over there, I can take really a lot. This is why you don't really do things really, like, constantly, but you do them once, and that's good for a lot of Here I was still trying to make an entrance that way, but there's too much, actually, space to run, so that doesn't work out as usual. I understand my lesson with that dog. This guy is a friendly envy. I try and go for the demo pick, but Spicicle gets burned out and I get taken out. Oh well. I mean, Jafira. He actually did some good plays before, but that wasn't his. So, maybe he's going in on the left here. He's taken out, so look, down at heavy. And they're pushing into our last, which is not uh, our second. We yeah, have been pushed our, uh, to our last really a lot of time. Taking med gun, they still have quick picks because their med gun died. I'm just going to engine this guy. Time to get a pick here. I get the med. That was a nice stab. That actually blocks their quick picks, and we have a U that to, uh, to counter their dead quick picks. And we actually managed to get the push um, denied. As I said, Spy doesn't get so, uh, so much constant work. He gets more uh, like burst work. Gun damage, gun damage, and that Spy. Um, Soldier runs in, but I guess. Wait, if I remember well, Soldier's going to jump. No. Okay, so. So now we will just. I'm just Spy checking. Now uh, I see we have our power there. Uh, the problem is, uh, I noticed that like my team called out and ended up behind us. Hello again, so um, uh, we're just pushing in to the second driver. This guy is an NG because NG kind of has the same movement speed as a spy and can basically be almost everywhere. Yeah, get this. I uh, get the medic again. Good. This gives us the advantage because he was running quick, so King and Med out. When he's running Pickpix, it's really good, so we have that. Yeah, one. I. Yes, hot headed again. Want to go for the heavy. I distract him, uh, but nobody takes him out, even though he was low, I think. Yes, he retreats. We pop Yuba. Um, that was actually like. We could have held, held that one a little bit more, but whatever. Push doesn't work out. Or the pyro takes out both our med and heavy. So I'm checking the med respawn and he has med gun. So, yes. There's a scout. They told me a scout was going behind us. So take him out with speed. Easy. Um, so this sees me, but these rockets are not Hiding in here. And do this guys again. I'm going for the cab and just suiciding to get the cab knocked up on by. Soldier now is the soldier, I don't get him. How do you get him? Just going to shank the spy that doesn't uh, happen. And we just get right. I was low, so I was kind of suicidal, like play, I guess. Not really a play, just trying to not get the point happen. And yes! There we go. So. Mm, not running. Still, and checking the Kaba. Just I had some time checking the Kaba. It's not like Kaba friendly, not here, but whatever. 
I just stay behind my teammates and wait for the initial mid fight to be over. Um, this guy's in a spy, I don't know if he's gonna me. I don't know how that stab was on the stab, but whatever. So there's no idea what I'm doing. Anyway, he was trying to go for a really aggressive detail, but it doesn't really matter. Told him was there, I didn't actually expect him to go for the health pack because Med was nearby, but whatever. As I said, well. Ooh, ninja fire. Time As I said, um, being the uh, aggressive with the decoys is much more the difficult than being like, the Dean, this or Cloak and Dagger. That ring is really loud, but whatever. Uh, I guess the soldier bot might just have been staying here. He doesn't have so much. I'm not really concerned about taking him out. Yeah, I was trying to go for the end, but it's coming out. Now, I know I'm screwed. No, I'm not. Okay, he doesn't play me, so I'm just gonna miss the shot, but it's cool. There's a hop back here, and I've got charge, and I'm pretty sure I can walk him back. And maybe he doesn't see me possibly. Okay, that's a quick quick quick, and they have Uber. Just standing behind them. This wasn't a really good thing. When they have hop Uber, they don't just look at their backs. Uh, bro, you just can't do it. They are going to read the hand for a spy because you're just looking at their back. So I win this Uber pay. But, well, that was bad of me. Uh, yeah, I noticed I'm pretty screwed. I burned my eyes and fire got me. But, no, no, don't give up. Your team can actually, like, make the fire go into a safe, not safe turn for him. It's good. Like, he now taunts because he's good and gets taken out by, by a spy. Always, if, even if you're let up and you have to run, just make the pyro run for it. Maybe you risk his life for it, or maybe a scout, or whatever that is chasing. I, that basically got me a free pick. It's like I was, I, it's like I killed this, uh, the pyro. Not really, but I, I contributed in, in a step. Mandatory medigun check. Spy, this guy's going in. And he finds me, don't know if he actually thinks I'm a spy or not. I guess he knows by now, but I can never tell if I was about to end me. Okay, no. Shank is really fast. As you can see, like, Shank always beats um, other weapons because it's fast. It registers the moment you click, so... That NG had, uh, uh, had a... Um, mini weapon that isn't nice. Right, so good. Yeah, I'm trying to an aggressive vehicle, but I might pull a striker, so I just go for the heavy. And then medic is easy, so... Dead Ringer... Uh, you can't this guy, you can't deep look aggressive, you just need a really good distraction. Like another combo fighting, fighting their combo. That is that type of distraction. That so this finds me, I'm pretty screwed here. Run, run, run. Drop down the window. Run, run, run. I guess that if it wasn't for the NG here killing me, I would have actually made the pyro run a lot more. And that actually, like, having uh, not having a pyro with the combo means that uh, the NG combo is much, much more, more vulnerable to projectile spam, like demo, or soldier. So we're running in for the second. I guess we're still running quick picks, and uh, yeah. So, fire was behind us. Some people were trying to back and back cap for it, but it didn't work out for them. We had people Five. here. And yes, so let's move on. Here, take fall damage because I'm a pro. I'm actually stupid, but whatever. They pop tricks. So, um, I know they're going to be instructed. I change this guys and get heavy. And then Medic sees that just better. That actually was a nice play because I helped my team. If their team, if their team was their combo with actually moving in, they could have just destroyed our combo. Now, I guess I should have held my Dead Ringer a little bit because Spy was still in an audible distance. So, yes, he, he got me, but whatever. I stopped the crits and that actually made us run around because our combo didn't die. Their combo was completely white. And then we won. That was a really nice play. I didn't like yes. Yeah, so I guess this is the last round. We just have a minute and a, and a half 
left. So we'll just... Let's see how this last mid fight goes. I'm disguised as a pyro now because I didn't use it that much, but that was a really weak thing. Like the pyro one hit me with I got to take him out there because we're just destroyed because we were going in too aggressively. And I don't know, nobody focused their pyro. Something. We just got destroyed. Yeah, close though. So, yes, that, as you can see, like, playing the mid fight really badly basically makes you go to last really quickly. They have basically gone now second for three. I see the spy, the spanking, and I see those multiple people, so I don't try to just put them, bring it, pull them out. And the slow four. Yeah, I didn't see the spy behind me, but the med did, so yeah, heavy kill the spy. I'm disguised as a spy because I know he's down. But now, change this guy? Oh, yes. Engineer. Oh, okay, just I'm forced to fight here to not die. Uh, power burns my knife here. And please. Yeah, I should have just gone in back. Instead of just shooting them two times, I should have. I didn't have a dead ring of charge again. And I wouldn't have killed the pilot or soldier or scout, whatever, anyway, because I didn't have. Like, Revolver doesn't have the train in that. Anyway, so here's the match. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time. Remember to like, comment, and let me know if you actually like this series, how I could improve them, and what type of videos you want. See you guys. Have a good day.